Hello everyone, I'm forecaster Chris Michaels coming to you from the NCSU Weather Center. What we are expecting for today as we look out at that beautiful Raleigh skyline is some clear skies, some calm winds, and some temperatures in the low to mid 50s. So overall a nice day, take advantage of it. The fast forecast is coming at you real quick and as we transition on into the night we see temperatures in the low 40s then we see some cloud cover coming in and in between midnight and 8 a.m. tomorrow we're expecting the temperatures to dip below freezing and if provided the right amount of moisture we could see some freezing rain or a wintry mix so stay tuned with that and stay updated with your forecasters here at the NCSU Weather Center and as we move on in tomorrow you see that there's a new system moving in again some calm winds and temperatures in the low 40s. That is not exactly normal for this time of year and we're going to show you with this graphic that we've had a record high in 2011 of 76 and then at 44 which is the forecasted high and then we typically see temperatures in the mid 50s for this time of year. And if you're commuting home tomorrow, if you're going to the western part of our state, you're going to see temperatures in Asheville, you see the high 40s. Moving on into Charlotte, you see the mid 40s. And in the triad by Greensboro in the low to mid 40s. And in the eastern part of the state, you see Wilmington here, which is more normal, more close to that 56 mark that we just showed you. Jacksonville just below, and the Pirates out there in Greenville, you're a little bit below there too. So the eastern part is relatively warmer than the western part and the central part of our state, which is a good sign. But we are going to see some rain, as we mentioned before. And as we look at this map here, you're looking above my head and you're saying, what is 500 MB? MB is millibars, which is a pressure reading. And as we go up with height in our atmosphere, the pressure decreases. And so this is a really good indicator of what kind of weather we're going to receive. And we see this upper level trough is what we call it. It's that dip. And you see right here, that pink mark which is some high wind velocities and usually what is associated with that jet the high wind velocities and the trough is some low pressure system either to the east of it or right below it depending on how developed the storm it is and as we look at this radar map we do see that there's the lower pressure uh, kind of like in Oklahoma and Arkansas and we have winds coming from the south adding more moisture and so this is a pretty well developed storm and as that high pressure moves off the east coast you have the low pressure system with the rain moving into our region which is going to deliver a significant amount of rain from Friday night into Saturday and through Saturday. So the five day forecast as we're looking at right now we just told you that we do have Thursday is in the uh, low to mid 50s, which is more normal, and then we have Friday, which is significantly colder with the possibility for freezing rain. And then Sunday, we move more to that normal temperature range, but we do have a 70% chance of rain throughout the day. And then we're moving on later into our weekend, and on Sunday, we have temperatures at 60. It's going to be a beautiful day, but not to squash your hopes, we're going to have some more rain here. 20% chance for now. But as the week goes on, stay tuned again with NCSU Weather. How can you stay tuned with NCSU Weather? You have the Facebook page, the Twitter page, and the videos that we upload on YouTube. So stay tuned with us, and I'm going to interrupt real quick and start my new segment. It's called Miked Up. And right here you got Brent Smith. He's clearly excited about something, as am I. And now what I'm going to do with Miked Up is I'm going to show you what is exciting me in the weather world. And right now, what is exciting me is the northern rural part of California, we were seeing some tornadoes. And it's a beautiful sight to look at from the picture. When you're that close to it, it's kind of scary. But for me right now, it's exciting. And I figured I would share it with you all. So if you have anything that's got you mic'd up and excited, please send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, we'll feature it on one of our forecasts somehow. So. Having said that, I'm forecaster Chris Michaels, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.